What is going on everybody, it's Alex back with another video and today I want to talk about Gears 5 and what I would like to see in the game. And also I want to open up a discussion in the comments down below where you guys can give some ideas, things that you're looking for, things that you would like to see, things that you definitely don't want to see in Gears 5 and I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say. So the first thing that I want to talk about is something that I'm kind of seeing everywhere so it looks like a lot of people share the same opinion but I want to see a big team battle. It's always been kind of strange to me that the campaign is always so epic, there's all these giant battles and it's basically a war going on and then you get in the multiplayer and it's just a few players battling it out. Not to say that the multiplayer should really be any different, I want to see them just improve on the formula that they have, the super competitive, you know, small teams fighting it out, but I do want to see some other game modes that allow for a significantly larger scale. Now I don't really have an idea of how big the scale should be, I'm not sure if a game like this would work, like a 32v32 gameplay, but maybe like 8v8, 10v10, maybe 16v16, but honestly I really just wanted to have some kind of epic scale that I really feel like we haven't gotten in a multiplayer in a Gears of War game so far. I think they could actually incorporate this and add many game modes. I mean, imagine a big team capture the flag. Imagine, you know, bases on each side where you're having to defend. Imagine if they did something like 50v50 in Fortnite, where you have two massive teams and then basically as soon as you die, you die and then the last team standing wins. I think by simply increasing the scale of certain modes in Gears 5 would make it a lot more enjoyable for a lot of people. Again, I do want to emphasize that even though I am asking for larger modes, I really don't think the competitive mode should change a whole lot. I think when you're getting into tournaments and ranked play, the small scale really works better. Moving on to potentially my favorite part about Gears of War is Horde Mode. I've always been a massive fan of Horde Modes in general, whether it's Call of Duty Zombies, Halo Firefight, whatever it is, I'm a fan of it. So needless to say, Gears of War Horde Mode is a lot of fun to me. Honestly, I just kind of want to see everything revamped and up to the next level. I want to see more and better traps, I want to see the weapons and customization, I want to see everything just kind of turned up a notch. I always thought it was kind of annoying that if you had a really good team and you got everything together, you could actually beat the horde mode. Maybe this is an unpopular opinion because I haven't really heard people complain about it, but I kind of want to have something where you can't actually win. Or at least an option to go into somewhere else and have an endless mode where you can just survive as many waves you can possibly survive and then not actually worry about getting to a certain round and then the game being over. Although it's a lot of fun to kind of work on strategies and figure out how to get to the high rounds, once you really figure it out and nail it, it's it's not really all that difficult to make it to max wave. Even if it just restarts but enemy health doubles, I think that would still be fine. I just want to have it to a point where there's always a challenge and you can never actually win. Also, I've heard a lot of people complain about this, but it is incredibly annoying when players quit. If you're playing horde mode, you have to dedicate hours at a time to actually make it to the end and not everyone can do that, so players are always going to be quitting through it, and if you're down a player, you're kind of screwed. I think the simple solution here is to just replace them with a bot. Obviously, this bot is going to be less useful than an actual player, but it is going to be significantly more useful than not having anyone at all. Even if it's just drawing aggro, or maybe it's able to get someone revived, it would help so much, and I think so many people would love that feature. But other than having endless waves and having an option for bots, I really just want to see everything done bigger and better. I want to see better maps like I said I want to see better traps I just want to see it improved on, but not really changing the whole process too much. Moving on, I really want to see microtransactions done properly. I think we honestly need to be done with loot boxes and anything like this. Personally, I would like to see seasonal battle passes. Grind through the game to unlock skins, weapon skins, maybe voices. Obviously, everything that you would unlock or purchase needs to remain aesthetic only, and it can't change the gameplay at all. I think it's pretty safe to say that pay to win will not work in this day and age. Although a lot of people think microtransactions are inherently bad. I do think they're a good thing. They just need to be done correctly and it is a very fine line on what's done correctly and incorrectly. So I really just want them to have good solid microtransactions that are really worth it and don't affect gameplay at all. I think that will make people pretty happy. Now this may be a long shot but I don't want to see any paid DLC. If they're already charging $60 for the game which they will be, if they're going to be adding a battle pass, all of these microtransactions, they're going to be making the money already. I don't want to see them charging $15 for an extra map or two. That just doesn't seem reasonable. I don't think that's a monetization strategy that's really useful anymore. We'll just have to see what they do, but I would really hope that they're not going to be charging DLC. I think free updates is the way to go. Now I'm going to finish it off with something that I know is going to trigger a lot of people, but I want to see a battle royale in Gears 5. Now I'm not exactly sure if this should be the 100 player battle royale that we're used to, but honestly, I would like a large scale battle royale. Maybe this is 32 players, 64 players, you know, who knows exactly how large the map would be, but I just think a large 
large scale battle royale would work really well in a game like Gears 5. There's a high skill gap. I mean, the shooting mechanics are going to take a while to get used to, the movement, the vaulting, everything really requires skill. There are a bunch of different weapons in the game that really cater towards a different play style. There's long range, short range. There are even power weapons you can find throughout the map. The looting system is already there. There are already vehicles in the game if they choose to add that. Again, I know this is going to trigger a lot of people, but honestly, I'd love to see it. So those are the main things that I want to see in Gears 5 later this year. But once again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. What things do you agree with? What do you disagree with? What are some things that you would like to see that I didn't mention? I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say. But that does it for today. Thank you guys for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for the support. Peace out. Didn't come to my birthday party. Rude, but they all found time to go fight the war.